really curious how many of these houses are in Albero Bello. I don't know if there's a number, some statistic. I did not look much up about Albero Bello. Some of the houses have a whole bunch of symbols on them. Crescent moon, the cross, a heart, some type of bird most likely, and most likely the sun as well. And yes, we have a castle here in Bari. Check out that beautiful sunset light behind the castle. In the beautiful city of Matera in southern Italy. Just arrived a couple of hours ago, checked in at the hotel and went out to explore the beautiful dwelling the beautiful cave dwellings, houses of the city of uh, Matera. And here's a super cool view of the city of Matera from one of the caves with a little tree right here that's growing inside the cave. What is happening everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode, this time from Bari. We just came at the bus station, heading over to the accommodation and then trying you know, to go to Alberobello, the beautiful cone house shaped city of Alberobello in southern Italy. But uh, yeah, we saw this fountain here, walking from the bus station, train station to the hotel and decided to stop and make the introduction. So yeah, this episode, not sure exactly what it's going to contain, but a little bit of Bari, a little bit of Albero Bello, a little bit of uh, McDonald's Americano, but we'll see along the way. So yeah, stay tuned for another episode from Italy. A little bit of the architecture of downtown Bari, if you can call it that way. This beautiful building right here seen quite a few here on the main street heading to our accommodation i believe this is one of the main streets in bari because it's super super packed and a whole bunch of uh, you know brand name stores more exotic views of Bari. check out this uh, avenue with the palm trees and the beautiful pastel buildings reminds me a little bit of uh, nisa friends I don't have any vlogs from uh, Nisa, Nice, but uh, yeah, it does remind me quite a bit, a little bit of uh, chaotic traffic here. Yeah, so Italians are known for not letting uh, the people walk on the crosswalks. They always pretty much just zoom on the crosswalks. But either way, let's uh, focus more on the city itself rather than the traffic. And officially entered the old quarters of the city of Bari. The cathedral, most likely the main cathedral here in Bari. The beautiful houses, the beautiful Italian houses with the laundry outside the balcony. A strong smell of frankincense around this area. Ignore the garbage. The frankincense is actually much stronger than the garbage smell. And finally, after one hour bus ride, made it to Albero Bello with the beautiful white conic shape buildings. It's interesting how the rooftops are made out of uh, this limestone. They're not that much, there's not that much cement, you know, between the limestone plates, but uh, quite, quite interesting. Here's a better view without my big head in the image. Quite nice with a whole bunch of flowers, you know, the contrast between the purple, some blue here and there, some orange. 
interesting enough they built a church in the same style as the rest of the cone-shaped houses quite intriguing make everything uh, blend it's definitely something that every city needs so as congested as the city of Albero Bello is you'll do find some streets where there's no one and you can enjoy the cone-shaped houses a lot of them have some type of vine surrounding the base of the roof and at the bottom you'll find a whole bunch of flowers cacti so the cone-shaped houses do have a name they're called truly not just the uh, cone-shaped houses but yeah outstanding views you can spend here a couple hours easily just walking around you know having a coffee having a pom pomegranate juice and then you know kind of calling it a day and heading over to your next destination unless you want to stay for the night and just have a you know like a romantic getaway in one of the truly houses you will notice that most of the city where the cone-shaped houses are located it's uh, on top of a little hill so yeah you're gonna do a little bit of walking if we have not done enough stairs and climbing in Matera we're gonna do a little bit here as well in Albero Bello and again Albero Bello is a name that you gotta say a couple of times before getting it right Currently the mission is to find a little rooftop and I think uh, we might have a chance. We see some people right there looking back at us so uh, yeah it might be a little uh, opportunity to get a panorama of all the roofs, the, con the cone shaped roofs. Photo wise it's really difficult in order to get the houses with no people in that's why you know just go with the video and film and show you guys what you can expect on a busy Sunday here in Albero Bello. And here we have it. If you just go at the church, at the main church on the main road, you'll get a decent view and you'll see all the cone-shaped rooftops. <coughs> Yeah, I actually don't have the drone with me because the batteries have died, both of them. One hour, maybe use them for like 20 minutes in uh, the first two days in Matera. But uh, yeah, gotta do what I gotta do in order to get some uh, aerial, in quotation mark, footage. Really curious how many of these houses are in Albero Bello. I don't know if there's a number, some statistic. I did not look much up about Albero Bello. Just, uh, you know, everyone has seen lately on Instagram, on social media about Albero Bello. So if you are in the Bari, in the Puglia region in Italy, definitely a small little stop. Two, three hours might be enough. You know, we decided to come half day trip from Bari. Left Matera this morning beautiful skies but now it looks like a little bit of rain might be heading this way so uh, yeah i mean a half a day trip to albero bello from barrio or from matera is good enough some of the houses have a whole bunch of symbols on them crescent moon the cross a heart some type of bird most likely and most likely the sun as well but if you are patient enough you will get a photo of the houses with the symbols at one point an interesting position for a letter not sure exactly if it's an artistic touch or it's actually with some type of function. It is holding a couple of wires, but you don't need a ladder for that. Back in the old quarters, 
of Bari being followed by a guy that's whistling continuously. Not sure exactly why. But we were talking that it sounds like a horror movie before someone starts chasing you, kills you with a knife, packs you, and so on. Check how cool the theater here in Bari looks like. Surrounded well with the avenue with the beautiful colorful trees leading towards the theater superb In front of one of the cathedrals here not sure exactly if there was a wedding or what but a whole bunch of people They actually have some type of I don't know flags or whatever you want to call them Haven't seen the bride haven't seen the groom, but uh, that's what uh, we were assuming They do have an ambulance here And the superb view of the cathedral getting hit by the last sun rays and someone's face in front of my camera like always here in Italy you cannot avoid it everywhere you go someone's gonna be in your video or in your photo actually this guy here this policeman here actually looks quite nice and a priest and another priest and a third priest and a dacia and yes, we have a castle here in Bari. Check out that beautiful sunset light behind the castle. Trying to find a better spot to capture more of it, but uh, this would do with the sunset in the back. And another grand church here in the city center, the old city center of Bari. So ending the day here in Bari, just walking the cobblestones, the squares, listening to the bell of the church or the bells of the churches, a whole bunch of scooters. It's actually not that packed here in this square, at least walking wise, but uh, in other places it's jam jam packed like you have seen in the previous footage. The cool part is you actually can go on the city walls of Bari and witness the harbor, the promenade, the old city and so on. And jumping into the next day but also putting an end to the video from Bari, the video from Albero Bello, the mix-up of a whole bunch of things that we have done the last couple of days here. Starting at the main square, ending at the main square here, only with a different view with the beautiful purple trees. Not sure exactly what the names are, but they make a perfect background for ending the video. Ignore the noises, the loud screaming. But yeah, gratitude should be the only attitude. Stay humble and I'll see you next time, guys. Peace out.